It's a picture-perfect night in Madison, Wisconsin, and in the heart of the city, Forward Madison returns to the comfortable confines of Bree Stevens Field to host Central Valley Fuego FC. It's USL League One presented by Dairyland. Let's take a look at the current state of USL League One presented also by Dairyland. Forward Madison fresh off that 2-1 victory over Omaha last weekend. And they've won two of their last three. They're just below the playoff cut line on a tiebreaker. Meanwhile, Central Valley Fuego, just seven points in their opening nine contests. They've dropped five of their last six. Ford Madison fresh off that 2-1 victory over Omaha. And Christian Chaney, the man who scored the game-winning goal, is our player to watch. He leads Ford Madison FC with three goals. He broke out of a mini duck last weekend on the road. And Central Valley Fuego's all-time top goal scorer facing off against his former club tonight. Just a physical specimen who's really tough to mark in the box. For Fuego, 22-year-old Alexis Cerritos is the man to watch tonight. He's a creative midfielder with a pair of goals. He scored the opener in that victory over Tormenta two weeks ago. He's the second youngest player to ever debut for the El Salvador national team. He's going to have to get going if Central Valley hopes to boss possession, a style coach Martin Vasquez is hoping to return to over the coming weeks. Just about set for kickoff here from Madison. The Flock and Company ready for action as forward Madison potentially looks to break into the top six tonight. They host a Central Valley Fuego side desperate to get back in the win column. When we return, lineups and kickoff next. Just about set for action here from Bree Stevens Field. Thank you. Um, hey, excuse me, are you ready? Can I order now? Yeah, okay. I will take a large quad, two shot macchiato, no sugar, two pumps of vanilla, half pump caramel, non fat milk, and not too hot, please. Very little ice. Honey, I said just a second. Ow. Come see how Dairyland fits your life with affordable car insurance that fits your budget and 24-7 customer service that fits your schedule. Even if you have coverage lapses or a bumpy driving history, we've got you covered. For 70 years, we've been helping people just like you get the car insurance they need. So why wait? Contact Dairyland today. For a warm and inviting space to grab a quick meal or gathering the whole family, come into Gooseberry on the Square, our made-from-scratch fare that is delicious, satisfying, and healthy. Plus, we're serving up breakfast and lunch all day long. Be sure to stop in and craft the salad of your dreams at the largest salad bar on the Square, featuring 70 items and two homemade soups. Gooseberry on the Square, open five days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Stop on in today. Tonight's Dental Health Associates fans of the game are Steven and Katie Richmond. Thank you for going full Mingo. Here live from Bree Stevens Field as both teams take the pitch for this 7 p.m. kick between forward Madison FC and Central Valley Fuego. A terrific turnout here tonight in Madison as they look to cheer on their flamingos are hunting a third win in the last four contests. Here's a look at the forward Madison starting lineup presented by Madison Concourse Hotel, a 3-5-2. Not too many changes from the side last week that toppled Union Omaha on the road. Aiden Macias was the opening goal scorer and Burns Shipman is the star between the sticks. Four clean sheets in his opening eight contests 
tied for second in the league in that category. He's also only conceded five goals on the entire season. Only one team has put multiple past him in a contest. Meanwhile, Central Valley Fuego's lineup, it's still a 4-5-1, but a couple changes across the board. Villian Bijev slots up in that lone striker spot, as well as a change in the heart of defense. The lease starts there. Ozzy Ramos has been the beacon of stability for Central Valley Fuego. He's gotten an assist, and he leads the Central Valley side in chances created with 11. He's a big piece that can play all over the midfield. Look out for number six in white. Just about set for kickoff here on ESPN+. Plus. Forward Madison with two wins in their last three contests, looking to break into the top six. Meanwhile, Central Valley Fuego looking to break out of a stretch of five losses in their last six games. And on a false alarm as Victor Folk awaits the referee signal to get us underway. Forward Madison and Central Valley Two sides looking to string some victories together. For Central Valley, they're fresh off that 4-1 defeat on the road at the Future Legends Complex against Northern Colorado. A match Martin Vasquez said he felt his side just didn't perform and he thought maybe they had found the correct 11 after that victory over Tormenta a couple weeks ago. Trotted out the same side, admitted that there maybe had to be a few changes. Meanwhile, forward Madison, they've started to hit their stride after struggling initially to turn draws into wins. They've now got six points in their last three. Here are your keys to the match presented by UW Health Sports Medicine. For Ford Madison, it's consistent chance creation, the biggest point of emphasis for Matt Glazer all year. Meanwhile, Central Valley Fuego, it's about minimizing opposing shots. Coach Vasquez feels they let down north in goal, allowed teams to put a little too much pressure on him lately. Those were your Dairyland insurance keys of the game. Dabo plays back to Francois Dulis, making his fourth start at center back. For the first time this season, Jordan Chavez not starting in the heart of defense. A mainstay who usually wears the captain's armband. Jake Kroll, one of the top chance creators as an outside center back for this Madison side. Last week represented progress for Madison. Going forward was the biggest concern for the Flamingos throughout April and May. Towards the end of May, finishing two of their three shots on goal last week. Sometimes efficiency, the name of the game, and Matt Glazer was very happy with how they took their chances in front of goal. Cerritos with his first touch. Immediately dispossessed by Macias, who logged his first professional goal contribution last week. Here is your injury report presented by UW Health Sports Medicine. Andrew Wheeler, Amiunu out once again. Meanwhile, two men who haven't featured all season in Ofek Antman and Sharif J, both out of the 11 tonight. That was a huge storyline coming in for Central Valley Fuego. Martin Vasquez dealt with an inter injury epidemic early in the season. Ant-Man last year's number one, the Israeli goalkeeper, 
suffered an injury and he has not featured all year that's really forced Mitch North to be thrown into the fire. Meanwhile, Sharif J, a player who had four goals and two assists a season ago, they lose his presence up front. Early free kick for forward Madison and Isidro Martinez. Macias. Jeff pushing numbers the other direction. The injuries, speaking to Coach Vasquez about that, it's forced a lot of adjustments. Guys being deployed in positions that aren't necessarily their natural areas of residence on the pitch. Jesus Partida has been moved into center midfield for the last three matches after being more of a left back by trade. Guys like Falk have played all over the midfield, as have Ramos. Here is the sweet Falk. And Payne looks to play out of danger. And immediately a man down on the pitch, Viljan Bijev. The former Liverpool man seems to have come up with an early knock. BJ of a guy who's been in and out of the 11, just went down and is being tended to by the physios and who spent six seasons in the USL Championship prior to his move to Madison, La or to Central Valley last year. Let's take another look at what happened off the ball. Just dueling for it, and just kind of dropped after no contact. The last thing you want to see if you're a Central Valley supporter, a player who was so integral to their inaugural campaign a year ago with five goals. Been off to a slower start this year, but he'll get tended to as the flock in full force tonight here at Bree Stevens Field. One of the more supportive fan bases in all of USL League One. Just terrific supporters groups and a fantastic atmosphere here in Madison tonight. Physio works their magic on Bijev. As of now, seems in line to return. Looking long for Cheney. A little bit of guile, and it wins forward Madison. Their first quarter of the night. First UW Sports Health Sports Medicine corner kick. This is an area where Madison was very threatening last week. Scored the game winning goal on the second ball from a corner. Martinez to take the in swinger. Cooks it slightly, cleared only as far as pain. Trying to switch the play for Hansen. And now Carrera. Mentioned some of the changes throughout the 11 this season. Harold Hansen making his first start of the year at right back. Abdul Razak Cromwell on the opposite flank in that full back spot. It only played 78 minutes prior to his first start of the year tonight. As Coach Vasquez still looks for the winning recipe for a Fuego side that narrowly missed out on the playoffs a season ago.
Select, the official match ball supplier of the USL League One and many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit www.us.select-sport.com for the latest Select products, specials, and more. Select, the player's choice. Just under 10 minutes in this matchup between Ford Madison and Central Valley Fuego. Neither side able to dominate possession. Madison has been asking a few more questions of late. Here's Bartman. He and Sincero seem to interchangeably switch off in that second striker role alongside Cheney. Martinez. For Gebhardt. Now looks for Cheney at the back stick and overhits it. stages of this season the storylines have been defensive solidity for Madison mixed with an up and down attack but these last couple weeks Madison a little more clinical in front of goal they've scored four in their last three for Central Valley though it's been a struggle on both ends of the pitch Fuego scored four goals in their last two matches but only six on the season they open the year with the worst offensive start in USL League One history with just two goals in their opening seven matches. Gebhardt breaks quickly and the cross for Sichero sits a little behind. Another UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick for the home side. Just a great ball for Gebhardt. He's an attacker by trade. Whips this cross maybe a beat late. Sichero knew it. He was bearing right down on goal. Promising start for the home side. Another in swinger from Martinez. North got a pair of gloves to it. going to work out of that left wing back roll once again and wins the first major free kick of the contest for the Flamingos. And early on targeting the new man, Harold Hansen, a, a former Portland Timbers member. See this switch of the play, Gebhardt with a bit of trickery and that'll draw the whistle 10 times out of 10. Martinez is delivery to Cheney. Decent half chance for the Flamingos. Christian Cheney, the former Central Valley Fuego man, scored 10 goals a season ago for the men in Fresno. Now facing his former club, a lot of his former teammates tonight. First thing that comes to Coach Glazer's mind is obviously the skill set of Cheney. He's 6'2", brings great physicality, good finishing. He's a guy who's really gregarious and occasionally emotional. And tonight will certainly be a night he had marked on the calendar. Aside from that, he's a pivotal cog in this Madison attack. 
Macias. Vermel. Early on, it felt like possession was seesawing, but Ford Madison controlling the tempo of this match early. It's almost the polar opposite of the way things transpired up in Omaha at Warner Park a week ago. A match in which Madison was outshot 21 to three, didn't stop them from securing that 2-1 victory. Here's Martinez, very involved here early. Or Macias had a screamer a week ago. That time got a bit underneath it. Quarter of an hour gone here from Bree Stevens Field on ESPN. Plus, Sam Goldfarb here bringing you all the action as Ford Madison looks to continue their playoff push against a Fuego side looking to navigate out of the league cellar. Here's Cerritos. Back for Bijev, who's returned to the pitch after his early knock. And Trini takes a boot to the back. Seems a change of system may have come into effect for Fuego. Freed up Dabo to roam a little further forward. Three toasts for Bijev. Has room. Zichero. Bartman has space and options ahead. The Central Valley side in their second season of action established in August of 2020 began compete, competing in their inaugural campaign last year and under Martin Vasquez who took the job two games into the season did a solid job navigating them right into the playoff hunt came up just two points shy of a postseason berth in their inaugural campaign for forward Madison they're looking to navigate their way to their first postseason since 2019. Club that made the playoffs in their inaugural campaign and have not quite managed to break through since. And last year was a rough one. Going forward was their biggest weakness and they finished 15 points off of playoff pace. A much different go of it in the early stages of 2023. Cerritos. Now 
Jose Ramos. minutes gone a match where proceedings have been bossed by the home side but no glaring chances either way it's a Madison side known for its defensive solidity Central Valley Fuego doing solidly out of possession here in the early going though been tough to pick out bit of a coming together between Dabo and Bartman no harm done either way And now Bartman. Rolls cross to the back post. Cheney pops it loose and commits a foul in the process. Well, may have taken offense to that as well. Kroll venturing forward once more. Decent chip cross, a little too tight on North. It is a textbook foul, but after the fact, some extracurriculars. Cromwell and company had a few words for their former teammate. Central Valley side that at their best is known for its possession and creativity. There have been so many moving parts as Carrero helps win his side their first corner of the night. I mentioned the early injuries. Guys like Carrera just coming back into the 11. He has been one of the more instrumental elements in build up for the Fuego these last few matches. Corner taken short, no trouble for Shipman. parts for Fuego. It's been a pretty consistent stable of men for Coach Matt Glazer on the other side. One of those pieces in pain gets free. And a good last ditch clearance from Dabo and company. For Madison, guys like Mitch Osmond, Jake Kroll have been mainstays in the back line. Martinez and Cheney have played virtually every minute. Timmy Mel did miss last weekend on a red card suspension, but other than that, it's been a pretty consistent 11. With three matches in the next week, though, there may be some more rotation. Payne's cross deflected out. Another UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick for the Flamingos. This one will be an outswinger for the first time from Martinez.
Sincero may have taken some contact before the set piece. Well, let's take a look at this. Pushing and shoving not uncommon in the box. Sichero. Nothing apparent there. Chip cross, and once again a little too tight on North, who's had a relatively uneventful opening 25 minutes. Cromwell down in the box for the visitors. The Ghanaian native. Being tended to by the physios. May have gotten dragged down by Sichero there. And they're currently taking a look at his head and upper body area. Not many chances either way, but physicality remains the key subplot in this one so far. Cromwell looks set to continue, and referee crew will restart everything. In the three matches these two sides played last year, Central Valley never lost. Two wins and a draw in their three meetings. Jesus Partida, who's currently starting in the heart of midfield tonight, scored the game winner on his professional debut in that first meeting in late April. It was a 40-yard screamer, which represents his only goal contribution of his pro career. Christian Cheney, of course, was playing on the other side of things. He's the ace up Madison sleeve this time around. Here is the former Madison heartbreaker, Partida. A young 24-year-old with worlds of talent and versatility. Carrera slowly making his imprint on this one. For Hansen. Gebhard marshals him very well. The USL on ESPN. Don't miss a minute of the action in 2023. Whether your club is on the road or at home, catch nearly every second of USL League One action on ESPN+. The home to USL, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and more. Sign up today at plus.espn.com. Just under half an hour gone from Bree Stevens Field. As forward Madison looks for their third win in the last four matches against a struggling Central Valley. They've had the bulk of the ball, but neither side threatening the opposing goal in the opening half hour. Cromwell for Cerritos, who ventures into worlds of space. Alexis Cerritos. Decent effort from Hansen, but Shipman had it covered.
Hansen may have been caught between two minds here. Excellent work from Cerritos. It is a first time ball. May have been trying to redirect it on goal and miss hit it. Either way, the clearest half chance so far for Fuego. Here's Payne. Had two assists in last weekend's victory over Omaha. And speaking to Coach Glazer about somebody like Stephen Payne, he's so impressed with his consistency. A guy who rarely has a poor performance on the pitch and has adapted seamlessly into that right wing back role. Gets forward really well, is a beacon of solidity on the other side of things. And he was also quick to praise his counterpart, Derek Gebhardt, a man who was signed as a forward a couple seasons ago and has adapted his game to play that left wing back role and really evolved defensively as well in the process. At 3-5-2, very difficult to play against, and that's the hallmark of Coach Matt Glazer and this Madison side. Hansen's cross, and Mel has issues dealing with it as Fuego has their second corner of the match. Former Chattanooga Red Wolf, Carrera to take. Intriguing delivery, it's over the head of everyone in white. And Payne lets it roll for a goal kick. moments ago, Shipman in that vibrant goalie kit. Ford Madison known for their outside the box kit designs. Some of the most appetizing jerseys in the league. And every year come out with tremendous designs and unique ones at that. Continuing to unveil them over the course of the season as well. Here's Kroll. Bartman. Switches the play for Macias. Right now, it just seems like that midfield and the duo of Cheney and Sichero still trying to get on the same wavelength. Madison's carried it well into the final third. Now it's about that additional touch. Here's a decent delivery for Cheney. Huffed out only as far as Mel. Surges past Partita. Looks for Cheney. 
Biggest opportunity of the match goes begging for Madison, and now Bijev rushing the other way. A one-man counterattack. Lays it off for Cerritos. Alexis Cerritos. Shipman passes his first test. Now Ramos. Add Shipman leaping. And it did not take a touch. Great effort by Cerritos after Bijev leads the counterattack. They stick with it. Falk finding Ramos outside the area. It's a question now of whether it took a touch or not. Lead official says it did not. Moments after Madison's best opportunity of the night. Quick clearance to Valion Bijev. Nearly leads to the breakthrough for the visitors. And the man who orchestrated that opportunity, Cerritos, is clutching the back of his leg. Take another look at this. Not really even involved in the play. Just drops right around midfield. May have felt a tug in the back of his leg. It's the last thing any Fuego fan wants to see right now. A guy who's the joint top goal scorer for this Fuego club. Given all of the issues with injuries, Martin Vasquez's side has battled. Don't want to see that. How about that? Terrific scenes at Bree Stevens Field. Cows in attendance. All the fans enjoying their presence. Cerritos up to his feet. He'll await the next dead ball to return. Just take looks around the pitch. Bree Stevens Field is one of the best environments in all of USL League One. They've got such a devoted fan base here in Madison. It's led by the flock, but numerous other supporters groups throughout the stadium. They've got an end called the flock end as well, where all the supporters sit. It becomes a party in the summertime, and with the calendar turning to June, I think this facility will see a few more of those before the season is up. Cerritos back in the action, and Fuego up to full strength again. Sichero looks for options ahead. And overhits for Macias. Here's your look at the flock end. Everyone out in full force tonight. Tickets were at limited availability this morning. I'm sure they had no issues selling out the match after the remaining fans found out about that situation. The flock end is at peak attendance right now. Here's Ramos. Searching for Bijev, who holds up well. Now Cerritos. 
Decent interplay, but no one on the end of it. You see signs of what this Fuego team wants to become in possession. It's flashes of last season at their best. Coach Vasquez felt they were a team that could boss possession and do so in very entertaining fashion. Everyone's still adapting to their new possession positions as Coach Vasquez still awaits his best 11 combination. Hansen delivers in, and Macias bats out of play for what looks to be another corner. Another Fuego corner. This time, Ozzy Ramos ventures over. The 26-year-old. Too tight on Shipman. biggest things Coach Matt Glazer talks about is how composed Shipman is between the sticks. Seemingly makes a big play every match. Here's another big game player in Chaney. It's still Chaney! And he puts it home! Christian Chaney against his former club. Cheney's fourth of the year, and now has scored back-to-back -back weeks. Quick break, Sichero finding Cheney in the half space, who twirls through two defenders and puts it top left. How about that bit of individual brilliance? The former Central Valley man with a fantastic goal and an even more fantastic celebration. A little model pose at the end as well. It's 1-0 Madison. Christian Cheney had to wait over a month between goals before that game winner against Omaha last week. I think it's safe to say he's out of his goal duck now. In the 42nd minute, Cheney with the opener for Madison. Ramos to take this corner. Madison's goal all started from a Central Valley corner. Led to the lightning quick counter and Cheney the beneficiary. This time, better delivery and it skews off the dome of Victor Falk. A match which felt a little cagey both ways. Sichero and Cheney open it up in a hurry. Troll now. Bartman. Well, 
Flamingos with the wind in their sails on the stroke of halftime. Martinez and now Madison building very confidently no official word on added time just yet maybe all at the referee's discretion now Stoppage time presented by the Jess Coffee Cooperative. It is five minutes. A first half marred with many stoppages and set pieces. Got five free minutes of footy here. Bartman tries one. And that would have been a contender for goal of the season if that didn't stray wide. Cheney, the goal scorer, this time involved in the interplay. Cheeky back heel, Bartman on the second touch. The former Chicago houseman definitely had Mitch North's attention. Cheney pokes it free. He has been all over the shop these last 10 minutes. Cicero. And now Kroll. This is slick from forward Madison. Bijev. Wago just unable to establish any rapport in the final third here in this first half. Bartman. And Cerritos may have, Ramos rather, may have taken a late boot there. If you're just joining us, a first half that was pretty cagey. Broken open by Christian Cheney in the 42nd minute. A sensational individual goal after a terrific ball from Mauro Cicero. Currently separates these two sides. Since then, Madison has looked a little more confident in possession in the final third. It was a half largely bossed by the Flamingos, but couldn't string too many passes together before Cheney's opener. Falk looks for a late twist to the first half tail. Cerritos, the liveliest Fuego man in these opening 45 minutes and change.
Cromwell looks for Bijev. Shipman's made all the right decisions here in the first half. You know, the final minute of first half stoppage time presented by the Jess Coffee Cooperative. blows his whistle and that's where we stand at the end of 45 and change Christian Cheney making the difference with his 42nd minute opener and forward Madison FC leads Central Valley Fuego 1-0 at the dairy lined half halftime show a just coffee cooperative halftime show here from Bree Stevens field forward Madison a 1-0 advantage with Christian Cheney serving as the difference maker. The former Fuego man has Madison in front 1-0. We'll step aside here on the Just Coffee Cooperative Halftime Show. Come see how Dairyland fits your life with affordable car insurance that fits your budget and 24-7 customer service that fits your schedule. Even if you have coverage lapses or a bumpy driving history, we've got you covered. For 70 years, We've been helping people just like you get the car insurance they need. So why wait? Contact Dairyland today. Thank you. Um, hey, excuse me, are you ready? Can I order now? Yeah, okay. I will take a large quad, two shot macchiato, no sugar, two pumps of vanilla, half pump caramel, non-fat milk, and not too hot, please. Very little ice. Honey, I said just a second. Ouch. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus. Designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Getting the exact vehicle you want is easy at Zimbrick Volkswagen of Middleton. Come in and sit down with one of our sales professionals and build the Volkswagen you want. Pick all the features, order it, and then sit back and relax knowing you're getting your dream vehicle. The best things in life are worth waiting for after all. Check out our selection online or in person with new vehicles arriving every day. Your perfect Volkswagen could already be waiting for you at Zimbrick Volkswagen of Middleton. Beautiful shots of Madison, Wisconsin here on the Just Coffee Cooperative Halftime Show. Let's take a look at some of the highlights last week in an eventful week for USL League One. Mark Schoenster has the highlights. It's time for your week 11 roundup, starting off at American Legion Memorial Stadium. A rainy day there, but it was also raining goals for the Jacks. Joel Johnson getting his first of the season just recently became the most capped player in Jack's history. Then Omar Sist hits this beautiful free kick. Does a little celebration afterwards, similar to that of Cristiano Ronaldo. And then in the second half, Tracer Mbuyu, no goals two weeks ago. Now he has a goal in two straight games. If that man's getting hot, then the Jacks are really going to be flying. They're already up in the table 
And if they can get Trace and Buyu in good form, they're a menacing team to go up against. Meanwhile, the two new clubs, their second ever fixture against each other. And it starts off with this Nico Brown header, wonderfully serviced ball from Tate Robertson. Lexington gets the lead at home, but there would be a response. And it would be from a man who scored in their first leg. It would be Jake Keegan tucking it home. He's been in great form to start this season. Making the transfer over to one Knoxville, his third different League One club. And Keegan, once again, on the score sheet here. Then later in the game, Ahinga Salamani would play this ball in, and Amale Knight would knock it away, keep it out of 1-1 draw. Mark McKeever and Sam Stockley would give an encouraging handshake after the match, sharing a point apiece. Meanwhile, Future Legend Sports Complex opens up its home to Northern Colorado Hail Storm. This will be where they'll be playing games for quite a long time, and they christened it properly. One goal in the first half, nine minutes later, they get a second goal in the first half, Billy King. Then it would only take seven more minutes, still on the first half, where Billy King, who's been involved in each goal, mind you, so far, draws the penalty. They're gonna give it to Trevor Ahmed, which puts him at six total goals on the season, tying him with Rafa Mensingen. They're already up 3-0 but they still got one more goal in them before the end of the half, and it would be Trevor Amon getting his seventh goal, putting him in the lead for the Golden Boot race. In the second half, there would be a goal salvaged for Central Valley Fuego after the handball inside the 18. Villian BJ would put it home, making it 4-1 in favor of Northern Colorado Hailstorm. What a way to open up your new home as we go over to a new home that was owned up last season and also saw a championship title. Formenta hosting Richmond right before the half. Nick Okoto would put this one in, his first goal as a pro. A nice rainy day in Tormenta as well. Saw some rain across different venues in USL League One last Saturday. And then the Olympico from Justin Suko. Ambitious strike. Pablo Hara, could he, have, could he have done better? I don't know. It was a good hit from Suko. It would end up being a 1-1 draw, but not before we saw a red card. Zaka Moran, the ever physical holding midfielder, gets his second yellow. He'd get sent out of the match, but no goals would be scored. Ian Cameron and Darren Sawatsky share a handshake, and we go on to our last game of the day. Madison going to Werner Park. Fantastic save from Vern Shipman. Two fantastic keepers in this game between Shipman and Rashid Nuhu, but it would be Macias who gets on the scoreboard first, weaving through some traffic, getting the nice finish, making it 1-0 in favor of the Mingos, and doing a little runway celebration afterwards. But Omaha would come in, the ball would skip through a couple times, and Shaft Brewer would put it home to tie the game up at one apiece. But there would still be one more goal in this game, a winner, a decider, this corner kick. Christian Shaney is going to do some fantastic individual effort Take a look at this touch right here. And then outside of his boot, gets it done. Madison win 2-1. We're going to step aside for a break. We'll see you on the other end on ESPN+. Plus. Are you ready? Ready for more of the game you love. Ready for more players and more teams. Ready for more stadiums, for more fans in more cities. This is a different league. The USL Super League. Built for the future of women's soccer. Bridging the journey from youth to pro, connected to the global game, and bringing it all closer to home. Are you ready? going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals.
turned over. Excuse me, are you ready? Can I order now? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, okay. I will take a large quad, two shot macchiato, no sugar, two pumps of vanilla, half pump caramel, non fat milk, and not too hot, please. Very little ice. Honey, I said just a second. Uh, okay. Ow. Some news and notes throughout USL League One. USL's just launched a partnership with the You Can Play in honor of Pride Month. Visit uslleague1.com slash news to learn more. Meanwhile, Don Smart made his 100th career appearance, just the seventh man in League One history to accomplish that feat last Saturday. And Noe Meza, after a goal and an assist against Greenville, named to the team of the week. He was player of the week for week 11. As you see that team on your screen, dominated understandably by Northern Colorado, who had that 4-1 victory over Central Valley Fuego last week. Let's take a look at some of the scores around the league presented by Dairyland. Charlotte Independence continuing their tear with a 3-0 victory over a now struggling Omaha. Greenville and South Georgia Tormenta tied at one apiece. A couple draws around the league and then the, the headliner, Knoxville currently trailing North Carolina FC 1-0 in that battle of two of the three top teams in USL League 1 right now. Here's your schedule going forward for the next week, presented also by Dairyland Insurance. The league leaders who are currently Charlotte, not on the docket, but North Carolina in second, hosts plays against Madison next Saturday on ESPN+. Plus. Also, Greenville and Omaha in the second battle of the belt of the season next Saturday. We're going to step aside on the halftime show presented by the Just Coffee Cooperative when we return some more halftime stats and analysis in the start of the second. down with one of our sales professionals and build the Volkswagen you want. Pick all the features, order it, and then sit back and relax knowing you're getting your dream vehicle. The best things in life are worth waiting for after all. Check out our selection online or in person with new vehicles arriving every day. Your perfect Volkswagen could already be waiting for you at Simbrick Volkswagen of Middleton. Come see how Dairyland fits your life with affordable car insurance that fits your budget and 24-7 customer service that fits your schedule. Even if you have coverage lapses or a bumpy driving history, we've got you covered. For 70 years, we've been helping people just like you get the car insurance they need. So why wait? Contact Dairyland today. Excuse me, are you ready? Can I order now? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, okay. I will take a large quad, two shot macchiato, no sugar, two pumps of vanilla, half pump caramel, non fat milk, and not too hot, please. Very little ice. Okay. Honey, I said just a second. Uh, okay. Ow. You can't have the 4th of July without fireworks. They go hand in hand like hammocks and sunshine, like sprinklers and laughter, like backyards and barbecues. And so we at Festival Foods remain committed to bringing Wisconsin as many fireworks shows as possible. We'll light up the night sky like we always have since 1991. Happy birthday, America. Visit festivalfoodsfireworks.com for a show near you. Festival Foods, we are Wisconsin. The WASC U11 girls are tonight's Unity Point Health Meritor Youth Soccer Spotlight of the Night. Thank you Madison Area Youth Soccer Clubs for your continued support. Back here from Bree Stevens Field as forward Madison FC leads Central Valley Fuego 1-0 after 45 minutes of action. It's the halftime show and the halftime highlights on deck presented by the Just Coffee Cooperative. Here's some standout moments from that first half. It was a half largely bossed by Madison. You see Derek Gebhardt strolling down that left flank, put that just a touch behind Mauro Sichero early on. And from there, 
It was a lot of forward Madison chances. Macias trying another long ranger in the 15th minute, just missed a little high and wide. And then on a corner kick, troubling Mitch North, but nothing he can't handle. Later on, Cerritos with the best chance of the match for Central Valley. Or Shipman into a stop and the follow-up effort from Ramos. Had him off his line, but it looked like Shipman had it covered. Now here's the goal. Christian Cheney weaving through traffic and a terrific finish into the top left corner. You just see the good ball from Sichero. Cheney dribbling through three defenders in white. And with a terrific celebration to follow. From there, one more chance. Nazim Bartman tried the second time hit after the back heel, but nothing doing there. Here's a look at some of those first half stats. Ford Madison with four shots, as same for Central Valley, a slight possession advantage for the home side as well. Just about set for the start of the second half here from Bree Stevens Field. As Christian Cheney, the goal scorer, gets us back underway. like to thank you for joining us tonight wherever you may be watching Sam Goldfarb here bringing you all the action as Ford Madison looks for a third win in their last four matches it's the start of the second half that first half was largely controlled by the Flamingos, but some decent half chances the other way from Central Valley. This match is anything but out of striking range for the visitors. Here is Macias. Looks to switch the play for Gebhard. Cleared only as far as Kroll. Goal scored in the 42nd minute by Cheney, his second in the last two weeks. Beginning to exude confidence up front for the Flamingos. Bartman. Hunts Cheney and now Macias. A former QPR man. Ventures down the right flank and wins a UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick. Martinez has taken all of these tonight. Outswinger looking for Cheney. It may have come in a little too hot on Carrera there. Forward Madison matches like this so crucial. Just their fourth home match of the season at Bruce Stevens Field. A side that's had to go on the road a lot. Both their matches with Omaha were away from home. But now starting to hit their stride. Open the season. Six matches unbeaten before suffering a 2-0 defeat to Northern Colorado. Immediately got back in the win column against Omaha last weekend and leading here. The biggest focus for Matt Glazer was turning some of those early season draws into wins down the line. If they can hold on here or expand their advantage, they'll be in a prime position to do that for the third time in the last four weeks. Here's Martinez, has room.
for Central Valley. This is a side that got blitzed early, did defeat Chattanooga 1-0 in the season opener, then went winless for their next seven matches. Had one stretch with four consecutive losses and didn't score a goal for 398 minutes in that span before finally toppling Tormenta to break that drought. Tormenta match, Coach Vasquez thought potentially would represent a turning point for Fuego. But last weekend, a 4-1 thumping at the hands of Northern Colorado certainly set them back. He said tonight would be about changing some things up. Anytime you lose by multiple goals like that, you need a change of scenery, and that's what we've seen from Central Valley. Now it's a question of whether they can string together a few more passes in the final third. This is Macias. Down the line for Hansen, who's most involved fullback tonight. Here's Cromwell. Carrera. Intriguing cross from Hansen, but no trouble for Shipman. Burn Shipman. A stalwart between the sticks for forward Madison. Join the club after spending this past year with Rochabury FC in the Thai League. It was in the German football pyramid before that. His first taste of American soccer. And he has been dominant in goal. Hasn't faced much that's troubled him tonight. Falcon Company looking to change that. Hansen once more. And a wrestling match with Kroll. And here is Gebhardt. are moments this year that could dictate the fate of forward Madison's playoff chase. Last season and early on this year, wins were hard to come by. And there's your first caution of the night for a man in blue. That's going to be issued to Timmy Mel. He's been a mainstay at center back all year, but did miss last week due to a red card suspension. He'll be walking a tightrope for these last 38 minutes or so. Turning draws into wins has been the biggest point of emphasis this year. It's a Madison side that had to settle for a good chunk of draws a season ago. They posted the least wins in the league. Partita draws the offside flag. 
finished ninth for the last two campaigns. They finished seventh or lower from 2020 on. It was that 2019 campaign that saw them go to their only postseason in their inaugural season. Martinez, Sechero linking well with Bartman. Now for Bartman once more. Aside from Cheney's big chance, North has not been called into action much. Receiving word, Central Valley will be the first of the two sides to go to the substitutes. Sahir Vasquez, who scored the game-winning goal against Tormenta in second half stoppage time two weeks ago, is set to be the man entering the fray. Maybe Jose Carrera, the number 10, who will vacate in his place. An attack-minded swap, no doubt. It's a question of whether you change the system and move to two up front, or you deploy Vasquez as a deep-line creative midfielder. Cerritos surveys ahead. And right now, it just feels like Vilyan Bijev on a bit of an island up top has that loan forward. And with the substitution, it appears Coach Vasquez may be thinking similarly. Cicero receives it back. Slick bit of work with Cheney and just trickles beyond the near post. Since the goal, Cheney drawing excess attention, being used as a fulcrum for a lot of those quick one twos, and it's paid dividends here these last few minutes. Pulled up so well. You've already seen his on ball ability, his skill set to weave through defenders has been spotlighted these last couple matches. Forward with all around ability. Dragged 
down just outside the area, and a free kick in a dangerous position for Madison. As the first Fuego man enters the referee's book. Victor Falk, the right midfielder. It's the first man in white to be cautioned tonight. See Macias just taking off. Professional foul from Falk, the 25-year-old. Maybe feels a little hard done by. Given the pace with which Macias was operating, there's not much argument there. Both subs still waiting in the wings for Fuego. And Martinez will stand over this with Bartman lurking. Martinez goes for gold. Just tapped over the bar for a UW Health and Sports Medicine corner kick. Decent hit, maybe didn't have the dip on it, but North taking no chances. Martinez has certainly played a solid match here through an hour. Delivers this to the near post. We were only as far as pain. May have gotten underneath it a bit much. Well, changes coming for Fuego. Zahir Vasquez and Omar Lemus will replace Ilyan Bijev, who had a pretty frustrating evening up top. Hansen, one of the more involved fullbacks, also departs. So Vasquez will likely go up front as Carrera stays on the pitch, despite word we heard earlier. Lemus will be set to replace Hansen at that right back spot. Martinez picks it through for Sichero. So here Vasquez, we've talked about his big moment ability. Scored that winner against Tormenta. They'll need more of that late game magic if Wago hopes to steal at least a point here at, from Bree Stevens Field. And here is Vasquez's first touch. A 23-year-old from Ogden, Utah, who played for Park City Red Wolves before signing his first professional contract with Fuego last September. Cerritos. Another youngster taken off it by Macias. Meanwhile, Lemus has been the regular right back option. Started seven of the first nine matches there. They go back to the more tried and true option here down the stretch. Carrera. As Partita to his left. Beyond Payne, back for Carrera.
decent half chance. Looked like Carrera was going for the back post, but nobody was there waiting. And Bartman may be dealing with the ill effects of that challenge from moments ago. Twenty-nine-year-old South African. Played a solid match here tonight. Looking to shake off that knock. USL on ESPN continues as the summer heats up. Memphis 901 FC and Aaron Malloy head to the Valley of the Sun to face Manuel Arteaga and Phoenix Rising FC. It's Phoenix Rising FC and Memphis 901 FC Saturday, July 1st at 11 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. The summer of soccer across all of the ESPN and ESPN Plus platforms will be a sensational few months for USL League One and USL Championship. This match has been relatively competitive. The lone goal scorer, Christian Cheney, scored on the stroke at halftime in the 42nd minute. Madison's had the bulk of the ball, but chances have been few and far between for both sides. And Central Valley is at least given the home side things to think about going the other direction. <laughs> A trio of changes for forward Madison. Jaden Onan, Eric Connerty, and Wolfgang Prentice. All sliding in as Derek Gebhard will be the first man to make way. Onan will replace Bartman in that usual forward spot alongside Cheney. As Prentice replaces Gebhard in that wing back spot. Like for like for the time being, Connerty replaces Sichero as more of a ball-winning midfielder. You may not see him venture as far forward as his 6'5 counterpart. Connerty's fifth appearance has played just 43 minutes entering the night. He's in the midst of his first professional campaign. He's fresh off leading Western Michigan to their second ever MAC championship. And while Jaden Onan was the regular starter for the bulk of this season up top alongside Cheney, didn't even make the bench last weekend. This is his first cameo in the last couple weeks. Onan, a man who played at virtually every major English footballing academy. Had stints with Arsenal, Crystal Palace, Brighton, and Brentford as an attacking midfielder. He's 22 years of age, looking to make an impact in these final 20 minutes and change. for Cheney and ushered harmlessly out of play by Delise.
This is Lemus, one of the substitutes. For Jose Carrera. Takes a boot from Ramos. Actually came from Cromwell coming in for support. Ramos was pleading the case for both men. Lead official unmoved for the time being. Match still hangs in the balance here in Madison, Wisconsin. Ford Madison has been the better of the two sides, and Christian Chaney was rewarded for that on the score sheet. Since the goal, though, floodgates haven't necessarily opened against one of the league's struggling defenses. and unable to put it out of reach just yet. Here's Partita. And Central Valley with their best free kick positioning of the night. Ball to the back stick. Cleared for Prentice. ranging forward once more. Can't watch the match? Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk. Hear live matches from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and more all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the SXM app. Just saw a shot of the flock end once more. Madison Faithful have flocked to Bree Stevens Field tonight. Looking to urge their side on here in these final 18 minutes as they look to see out what could be a third win in their last four matches. after winning just one of their opening five contests. It was a six-match unbeaten run to begin the season. But there were scoreless draws mixed in, and Matt Glazer's side left that spurt feeling they could have secured more. Results have started to break their way lately. But Fuego looking for a late twist to the tail. Partida will win a corner for the visitors. to take the in-swinger. Cleared only as far as Ramos. to Lemus on the overlap. Looking in the middle, and it's not at home! It's the substitute, Zahir Vasquez, 
who scored the winner against Tormenta two weeks ago. Another big moment goal for the youngster. The 23-year-old product of Utah Valley University. Great cross from Lemus on the overlap. Knotted down right off the inside of the back stick by Vasquez. And for the second time in the last three matches, he scored a potentially game-altering goal late. He's been a professional for less than a year. But he has come up massive for Central Valley Fuego twice in the last three weeks. And that's the price Madison pays for not killing that match off late in the first or early in the second. Now they have to go back to the drawing board as they hunt three points. That is a heart and throat moment for Delise, but it just winds up being a UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick for the Flamingos. How about that twist to the tail? Martinez looks for a swift reply from the corner. This was a match it felt like Madison largely controlled from a possession standpoint. Never really had that killer instinct in the final third, if not for Cheney's moment of brilliance in the first half. There wouldn't have been many opportunities that got North's attention between the sticks. Central Valley with their first glaring chance of the game. They level the score line. And Vasquez in the 74th minute currently stands to be the hero who could rescue Fuego from a sixth defeat in the last seven. It's still all up for grabs these final 15 minutes. Now a yellow shown. To Razak Cromwell for that challenge. The Ghanaian native. Trying to hold up Mel. Instead left the boot dangling on the tackle. And he enters the book as the second Fuego man to be cautioned tonight. If you're just joining us, this has been an intriguing contest all night. Chances have been few and far between, but Christian Cheney gave Madison the lead on the stroke of halftime. And moments ago, the substitute, Zahir Vazquez, with a colossal header to level the contest in the 74th. And that's where we stand heading into these final 12 minutes or so. Another UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick for Isidro Martinez and the Flamingos. And Cerritos may have come up worse for wear on that challenge moments ago. So Cerritos got the wind knocked out of him. He's back on the pitch. He's taken a couple bumps and bruises tonight, but has been one of the more involved players for Central Valley going forward. 
Here's the outswinger from Martinez. Cleared only as far as Onan. The Englishman just over the bar. Both sides with options still waiting amongst the reserves. Madison has two more substitutions available. Three left for Fuego. And if this result stands, you have to credit Martin Vasquez for his substitutions. His two substitutes in Lemus and Vasquez involved on the goal. You can see why the coach with over 30 years of combined playing and coaching experience is at the helm for this Fuego side, a man who was involved with the U.S. men's national team under Jurgen Klinsmann and also has been across the MLS scene. Here is Zahir Vasquez, the goal scorer. And Mel shoves him off it. This may warrant a caution from the referee. And a yellow shown to the substitute. Eventful night for the 23-year-old. Scores the equalizer. Gives chase on this one. Mel may have sold it, but that contact unnecessary from the most recent goal scorer. Timmy Mel, the Manhattan Beach, California native. We'll deal with that knock and presumably hop right back into the action. One of the leaders of this back line Himself and Mitch Osmond are the two guys Coach Glazer credits with their locker room presence. Cerritos picks Mel's pocket. And now bundled over in the area. The referee may have just pointed to the spot. It's a penalty as Cerritos is tugged down by Mel. And Fuego with an opportunity to take the lead. Mel comes in from behind. He feels he got the ball. Official says he got the back of Cerritos' legs. And Central Valley an opportunity to take a shock lead away from home. Cerritos will stand over this one. Their top penalty taker, Otoniel Jaramillo, was not amongst the squad tonight. Cerritos to put Fuego in front. And he converts! Central Valley has flipped the match on its head. And the youngster, Alexis Cerritos, with his third of the year to put the visitors in front. A stunned silence 
falls over Bree Stevens Field as the 22-year-old Alexis Cerritos slots the penalty into the far left corner and makes Central Valley just the second club all season to put multiple goals past Madison. Here's another look at the penalty. Calm and composed as you like from the Bowie, Maryland native. And celebrates with his teammates as Fuego surges in front. How about that second half turnaround? Two goals in 10 minutes for the visitors to flip the match on its head. Now Carrera dealing with cramping issues as the physios tend to him. Ford Madison entered the night with an opportunity to surge into the top six. If this current results hold, they may stay put in Central Valley, will likely leap out of the cellar. Two changes are on their way as well for Central Valley. Sam Strong is due to replace Carrera, who's currently down on the pitch. And that would be a heavily defensive swap. As another fullback, Andrew Forth, also is due to check in for Cerritos. Strong, a 26-year-old center back, making just his third appearance of the year. A man who was loaned to Fuego for Monterey Bay in the championship last year and was a regular feature throughout the side for Fuego. Meanwhile, Andrew Forth, a 24-year-old right back from La Jolla, La Jolla, California, making his sixth appearance of the season. Two defensive-minded changes. It does appear Strong will be deployed up front alongside Vasquez. Remember, there were five minutes of added time in the first half. This has not been the smoothest of matches from a discipline or tempo standpoint. Feel the home side could expect a few additional minutes onto the 90 allocated. So let's take another look back at what's transpired here. Christian Cheney opened the scoring in the 42nd minute on the stroke of halftime with a terrific bit of individual skill. From there in the second half, two goals in a 10 minute span has flipped it on its head. So here Vasquez, the substitute, leveled it up in the 74th. And our player to watch off the top, Alexis Cerritos, converted a penalty in the 84th, which currently put Central Valley Fuego in line for their third victory of the year. This is a team that went six matches winless early in the campaign. They could notch their second victory in the last three games if they can see this out.
teams towards the bottom of the table did secure results tonight. Lexington drew a red hot Northern Colorado team earlier tonight at Toyota Stadium. But Chattanooga was defeated by Richmond Kickers at City Stadium. So if these results hold, Central Valley would climb two spots to 10th. Meanwhile, Ford Madison, unless they can secure a point, would still be stuck below the playoff cut line. Still a lot of soccer left to be played in the League One season. But this would prove massive for a Central Valley squad that has struggled in the early portions of this campaign. As Ramos is booked for undercutting the Madison man moments ago. Fourth man book tonight for the Fuego. Oddly enough, booking given to the Central Valley man despite the foul against the Madison man. A packed stadium which has set a Madison attendance record, 4,924 Members of the Madison community have turned out to support their Flamingos in what has just been a sensational atmosphere tonight. As seven minutes of stoppage time are added to the initial 90. We've spoken at length about the fantastic atmosphere this Ford Madison side creates on a weekly basis at home. Right now, just trying to send their nearly 5,000 fans home with something to cheer about. As they trail 2-1 in the dying embers of this contest. Martinez looks for Cheney. And now Kroll for Prentice. Enticing delivery and an insurance palm from North, which results in a UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick. Decent work from Prentice here. A cross that at least draws the attention of North. Not much he could do besides palm it over the bar as Martinez looks to make noise with this in-swinger. So many set pieces for forward Madison. But it seems like Mitch North has read all of them to perfection tonight. Cheney battling with Delise, cleared only as far as Connerty. Links well with Payne. Payne looking for Cheney, and Kroll recycles. Three and a half minutes of added time remain. And Mitch North will be content to let many of those seconds slip away. Sam Strong, the substitute, 
dealing with some cramping issues. And he's good to continue. Fans not pleased with it. Stoppage time slowly melting for Madison here. Just under two minutes remain for Madison. And Connerty wins a free kick for the Flamingos. It's a match which Flamingo fans may feel has slipped away here tonight. Martinez and company hoping to rescue a point here at home. Prentice for Cheney. And now Macias. Potentially a couple more opportunities before Added time expires for Madison. Here's Stephen Payne. And still Payne. Cheney now. Time for one more attack for the Flamingos here. Onan nearly receives it back and instead fouls strong in the process. to take this goal kick already beyond the allotted seven minutes of stoppage time here. Connerty commits the foul. Cheney expresses his displeasure. And that may be all she wrote from Bree Stevens Field tonight. Take another free kick for Cromwell. Looking for the corner. Flamingos racing forward for potentially one last gasp chance. Got numbers ahead. Martinez. The 
engineer of so many opportunities for Madison this season. And Macias will win a free kick. Victor Falk dangled the boot. And there will be one last set piece for the Flamingos. Cheney and Martinez in the vicinity. This is around 30 plus yards out. Be tough to goal directly for goal. Martinez goes for goal. And it deflects out of play for one last UW Health Sports Medicine corner kick. We're over the century mark in minutes. Here from Bree Stevens Field. A sold out Madison crowd awaits this last corner. And Burn Shipman is up for it. They look for Shipman. And that will do it from Bree Stevens Field. Central Valley Fuego with a pair of second half goals from Zahir Vasquez and Alexis Cerritos has stolen all three points here from a sold out Bree Stevens Field in Madison, Wisconsin to climb out of the USL League One cellar and shock the Madison faithful. Here's your look at the man of the match presented by Festival Foods. It has to be Christian Cheney. The lone goal scorer who opened the scoring in the 42nd minute to give Madison the lead, which persisted till the 74th minute. The play of the match, which is presented by Dairyland Insurance, is that goal. Great individual work weaving through three defenders. Just a couple chops using that strength to body off a defender and charging it into the top left. And the celebration wasn't too shabby either. For the second consecutive week, a Cheney backflip and a little model pose to coincide with it. But it didn't prove to be enough. As forward Madison shocked in the second half by an extremely game Central Valley side to take care of business tonight. Let's take a look at the save of the game presented by Dairyland Insurance. It is this stop from Burn Shipman. Cerritos did really well to weave through traffic. This was the best chance of the first half for Central Valley. And at the near post, managed to snuff it out from there. The follow-up effort from Ramos couldn't quite trouble Shipman. And the chance was lost for the visitors. A 2-1 victory for Central Valley Fuego here from Bree Stevens Field. We're gonna step aside when we return. Let's take a look at some community involvement for Forward Madison. Since we launched in 2019, being a part of the community has been you know, crucial to what Forward Madison's all about. Uh, the community picked our team name, they picked our colors, um, and they just decided what our logo would be. Our Forward for a Cause partnership with Exact Sciences has allowed us to do even more in the community. And we're really lucky to have Players do a great job interacting with the youth and really making a commitment to this community. I think back to when I was their age and what that would mean for me is when we're not on the field and but we're interacting with them at their schools. And I think the words that we say and the actions that we do in, in those moments can go probably a lot farther than um, what we see in the moment. Rich Green and I played 2v what was it, 50 or something like that. I feel like at that one, I, I was really able to connect with a couple of kids. Um, just, I think, seeing the smiles on their faces and I could tell that they really enjoyed it. Come see how Dairyland fits your life. With affordable car insurance that fits your budget and 24 seven customer service that fits your schedule. Even if you have coverage lapses or a bumpy driving history, we've got you covered. For 70 years, we've been helping people just like you get the car insurance they need. So why wait? Contact Dairyland today. Thank you. 
Um, hey, excuse me, are you ready? Can I order now? Yeah, okay. I will take a large quad, two shot macchiato, no sugar, two pumps of vanilla, half pump caramel, non fat milk, and not too hot, please. Very little ice. Honey, I said just a second. Ow. Time highlights presented by the Just Coffee Cooperative. In the first half, Christian Cheney with liftoff for Madison. Terrific individual effort to weave through traffic and give the Flamingos a lead in the 42nd minute, just on the stroke of halftime. Adding a nice flip celebration to it. And then the little pose wrinkle to it as well. For his second goal in as many matches, a gift for his former club. But in the second half, the equalizer for the substitute. Zahir Vasquez linking up with Lemus, another substitute. A great header for his second goal in the last three matches to put Fuego on level footing with their first major chance. You just see the good cross. A well-timed leap from Vasquez, and that made all the difference to level things up in the 74th. Then in the 84th, Alexis Cerritos dragged down by Timmy Mel and on the penalty calmly slotting it into the top left corner. That was the winner for Central Valley, their third victory of the year. Here's your look at the full time stats presented by Rhyme. You see a shots advantage for Madison, but Fuego putting more on target. Unsurprisingly, the Flamingos had the better share of possession, but unable to turn that into too many goals. A terrific night for soccer ends with a 2-1 Central Valley victory. We'd like to thank you for joining us here tonight. For Sam Goldfarb and all of our terrific USL League One crew, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Central Valley Fuego climbs out of the league cellar with a pair of second half goals to shock the Flamingos here at Bree Stevens Field. Have a good rest of your night, everyone. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.